you've been a lot of different clubhouses as a player and you've obviously now been around you know this clubhouse with this Mets team this year Mm -hmm. what is the vibe around this team Joe and I were down there and we found it just such an interesting mix of really young guys that are a step away or are trying to find their groove as young players and then veterans that have had so much success in this league so to you what was the vibe of the clubhouse this spring well, I got a chance to to talk with the new skipper with uh, Carlos Mendoza, and his temperament seems so well suited um, just heading into this camp. Like he was positive, and then the the two days I was out there, one of the days he grabbed the fungo and took over the PFP that the lads were doing and gave it some real energy. So I just thought that you know his temperament, his his kind of feel, and I think his energy um, was really exciting in speaking to him. And then when you start talking about you know, one, you could talk about the veterans. I know he wasn't in camp, but, you know, with the signing of J.D. Martinez, I got a chance to watch y'all's last pod on that. And, you know, just the way it's going to make them a much more formidable lineup already offensively. But then you add in what they're going to do against left-handed pitching. When you go with Brandon Nemo at the top, getting on in a 360 clip, Frankie's got the platoon advantage behind him. And then it's it's Pete and, Jay, and, and J.D. right there. Boom, boom. And it's going to be really difficult. I think – Wonderful protection for Pete and JD will be Brandon and Frankie getting on in front of them because then there's nowhere to run. And so I thought it was a wonderful addition. Um, you know, I thought that, you know, the Mets were able to do maybe a bit of trade deadline shopping here in the free agent market towards the end. You know, you took stock of your camp, um, heard and loved the praises you hear about Vientos and the work he's done on defense perhaps a bit to be desired with the strikeout rate and the walk rate, like, you know, just, you know, and so what he gets by going to AAA is he gets to play every day. Like you get to play every day. I was, I don't know, I was listening to Lou Gehrig's book and he, he darn near begged his skipper to send him to out to Hartford so he could play every day. Now it is, it's the big leagues and that's where you want to be. But, you know, if you get a chance to play every day, there's some, there's a lot of value in that as well too. So that's kind of, a bit of an overview, not overview, but, you know, what I've somewhat taken from the offense. I think that, you know, McNeil is one year removed from being 40% above league average. It's not unreasonable to think he even settles in the middle of that. And now you start adding significant length to the lineup. Um, you know, Alvarez is league average last year as a catcher. You just, you don't see it. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a lineup that got much deeper, um, you know, here late when um, rosters are getting trimmed down.